and imagine you are sprawling in a road surrounded by lush green trees. Beautiful butterflies are dancing on the euphonious bird songs. Shimmering rays of sun are lighting your way. Shining streams of water are struggling, competing, finding their roots to tangle thick forests. How does it feel? Nice. Awesome. Relaxing, isn't it? Yeah. Now imagine you are walking in an arid, arid, inhospitable desert. Scorching sun rays are making you sweat incessantly. There is no sign of water in the horizon. The wild winds blowing through the wasteland are making your breathing burdensome. Now tell me, how does this feel? <laughs> Horrible. Friends, tighten your seat belts and be ready for a rough ride. For the day is not far when this generative green earth will be converted to a brunette barren land. The primary offender for this bizarre situation is going to be none other than our very own deforestation. <coughs> Wikipedia defines deforestation as the removal of forests to utilize the land for other activities. Examples of deforestation are conversion of forest lands to farms, ranches, or urban use. Over the last century, uh, across the globe, the green cover has been reduced just to 30%. According to the United Nations Food and Agricultural Association, every year around 180 lakh acres of farms of, of forests are removed. The primary reasons for deforestation are threefold. The first one, as you can guess, is agricultural activity, which contributes to around 64% of deforestation. To support the ever-increasing population and food demand, trees are harshly cut down for cattle grazing and growing crops. The second most important reason for deforestation is logging, which attributes to 14%. Wood is utilized directly as well as indirectly in industries such as paper, furniture, etc. And some of these industries even illegally cut forests for their use, thereby reducing the forest cover. Food is also a primary fuel resource in rural areas and in manufacturing industries, which is the third reason for deforestation, accounting for 5%. Urbanization, mining, globalization, and other reasons contribute to 17% for deforestation of land. Cause is done. Next is what? Effects. Deforestation is leading to a plethora of problems which our grandfathers, which our forefathers wouldn't have imagined in their wildest dreams. The first and the foremost reason, the effect of deforestation, which all of us are facing today, is climate imbalance. Deforestation causes carbon dioxide to linger in the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide aggregates and creates a layer in the atmosphere which traps the radiations from the sun. This radiation then gets converted into heat, causing global warming, or which is also known as the greenhouse effect. Tropical deforestation contributes to about 20% emission of greenhouse gases, thereby increasing the temperatures worldwide. The second burning effect that deforestation has is soil erosion. Due to land, forest land clearance, the rates of soil erosion are increasing due to increase in the runoff as well as reducing a uh, reduction in the protection of this land from tree waste. Reforestation has also afflicted loss of biodiversity on Mother Earth. It is estimated that every day we are losing around 137 species of plants, animals and insects due to deforestation which equates to around 50,000 species per year. Isn't it a huge number? These are very few evil effects of deforestation. 
there are many more known and God forbid unknown effects of deforestation. So, what can we do to save ourselves and our future generations from this horrid effects of deforestation? There are five simple things which we can incorporate in our daily routine which would promote afforestation. First thing, consumer awareness. Buy only from those companies which are committed to reduce deforestation. As consumers, ask about the products you buy and how they are going to affect the forest. The second solution is involvement in efforts of non-profit organizations. Volunteer with uh, Greenpeace and Worldwide Fund for Nature and get involved in their forest campaigns. Third one, which, which is the simplest one, speak up. Talk to your friends, family and community and let them know how their actions here are going to affect trees miles away. The fourth solution is tree plantation. Plant as many trees as possible in your surroundings. Trees are inlet givers. They give us shade, warm, clothing, food, shelter, etc. They are like the genie of the Aladdin's lamp. Tell me, given a chance, would you simply slaughter your faithful genie without even thinking the aftermath of your action? No, right? Remember, if we pay no more attention to plants than we pay to our children, we would be living in a doomed, disowned desert. Let us all swear today to protect the trees, to protect the future of our mother nature. I'm going to go green. Are you? Yes. 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 yes.